Hi, handsome. Hey. Hey, pretty boy. Hi. You want some food? You want to eat? I had a bag of feed, but Antonio moves everything. Or did I move it? I don't know. Maybe I moved it. But he just came back from Tractor Supply and didn't put the food away yet. But it looks like everything. Oh, here's some. Come here, baby. I'm going to try to get him some food. Hey. Hey friends, Jennifer here with Morel Family Farm. Thank you guys for being here with us today. We have a few cool things going on with the animals and we're going to take you guys along for it. So stick around and see what we have going on. I could literally sit here and watch him all day. Hi, Hope. How you doing, sweet girl? These are literally the only blueberries that we have available to us. Better than nothing, I suppose, but it's not enough to make any kind of jelly. And it looks like a nice big spider got a hold of that one. But as you can see, the goats have eaten everything. Even there's some new ones down there and they've already gotten a hold of those as well. So we definitely need to put some sort of a barrier around this. I'd like to trim or cut down this tree right here. That mimosa tree. I'd like to cut that out because that doesn't belong there. And then I'd like to prune this up really nice. Put some good fertilizer down there. And hopefully we can keep the goats, even if we fenced a small area, like just right around here, just to keep those stinking goats out. They get into everything. But let's see.
he's calling his buddy. His buddy is in the old um, peanut field. He's over there somewhere. I don't know where, but I hear him every day. So he's still around. He's just, he doesn't come into the yard. All because of one ridiculous fight that I didn't witness, but Antonio did. Um, they got into a fight and he took off and he hasn't been back since, which really stinks. But he's still alive and he's doing okay and he's not far, he's just not here. And I hear him all the time. I've seen him once. Um, one time I came out and I saw him, like, let me zoom you guys in so you can, like, I saw him walking over in that area. Maybe I can see him. They like to go up in the trees. I know he's, he's either over there or across the street, but I hope he's not across the street. But he's definitely over there. I hear him. He's got to be over that way somewhere. Oh, there he is. You see him? I wish he would come home. Look how far he is. Watch, you ready? It's way over there. <laughs> oh. We're actually um here. I'll take this. Here, like my little... I took the handle off because it couldn't. This top couldn't fit on it with the handle. I had to put something on it because they, you guys, I, I put this um what is this? It's a candle holder something I don't use but it fits perfectly on the top so the baby chicks won't like jump in and poop in it look how much poop would actually be in their food if that wasn't on the top so we are going to don't eat their food let me get this in here before the all the chickens come in no uh-uh Stop. Stop. Come on. Come on. I was trying to, but the other ones are trying to come in for the food. <laughs> this is me trying to catch a chicken with a camera. Ooh, she's heavy. She feels nice and tasty. So, anyways, the... The chicks are not looking great. It looks like something's no, pecking. No. You see that one's crest? Look how yeah. weird it is. It's a rose crest all the way to the front. The, the light one. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's like the, like Yoki. Yoki has a really strange crest. But yeah, so they're growing. They're getting bigger. Their feathers look crazy. They were in an area that didn't look the greatest, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if maybe too much, too many bugs over there, maybe, and then them picking at each other, trying to eat the, the flies. But anyways, they are going to be so happy. <laughs> Look, already dust bathing. And that's the thing, they haven't been able to dust bathe, and dust bathing keeps the mites off and stuff. We put them over here in this sandy area. Um, we could have put them in the grass, but I honestly... This is where it was. That's where the ducks were. So we're going to let this this area over here heal. Um, yeah. So this area over here needs to heal from the ducks. This area over here is where a um, there was a rose bush here that was just like kind of in bad shape. So we took it out. And I figured they're going to scratch all this up and make it ugly anyways. 
so we'll probably move them in a little bit but I'm glad that they have some sand immediately because I know they're loving this let's go see what's going on over here how do they look kind of mingly oh that guy has a dark beak that reddish one hold on oh yeah he's oh my goodness hi hello look at your dark beak my goodness look at those black feet you're gonna be so happy yeah you're gonna be so happy look 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 oh yes so exciting so we have 15 I think that are coming over here 13 16 I've, I've lost count I don't know how many chicks were in there we kept on putting chicks in and one died so I can't remember how much we actually have I'll see if I can help him most of the chicks are bigger but then there's a couple of them that are smaller um, but they're all doing great with each other hi you guys want to go to your new home like you see that that one down there is one of the younger ones come here babies you guys look so mangly oh I'll grab the water He's going to go and catch them. I'm going to put their water in. They already have their food. They're going to be so happy. Oh, no. The ducks are like, whoa, what is going on? Why are these babies in our house? Look, they're mad. <laughs> they are so mad. <laughs> That's funny. They are mad. They're mad. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's standing straight up. He's like, why are these things in my house? <laughs> look. Look how tall he's standing. They're literally mad. Don't be mad. You're all right. My goodness. These guys are so used to each other that they won't even find a different sandy spot to, to lay in. They all want to be together. If you guys remember the video I had of them in a dish and they were all like just laying on top of each other in the dish. These guys are very, very attached to each other. Did you count by any chance how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, I thought our original number was seventeen, and then one died of like an eye infection and just was kind of sick, and then one of the bigger chicks was laying on it in that little dish that they were all laying in, and I don't know, it was a weird situation. But so we did have 17, we're down to 16. And the majority of these chickens here are just being grown up honestly for food. This is just so silly to me how upset the ducks are. I just don't understand why they're so mad. It's not like this is where their house was. Their house was right there but it's just the idea of them being in their enclosure and they are just really really being funny about it well they're gonna learn soon enough that this is not their enclosure anymore we're gonna put that netting back on the top of this to keep them safe from any you know flying predators and uh, we haven't seen any raccoons or anything like that in the yard not saying that there isn't but we haven't seen any right you don't think I mean cats yes we've seen cats um, but we'll be able to put this on well enough to where it's almost completely covered and that's just the best that we can do honestly at the moment they'll be fine 
those ducks manage to live out here without getting attacked or anything. So I think the chicks will be just fine. These two would rather play in this little mud hole right here than come to this nice clean water. Those guys are having a blast here. Oh yeah, those guys are in heaven. They start their, up and their feet are going to feel better from not being on that wire mesh. Do you think we should put some sort of a roosting bar? Yeah, you could put a stick. Like a stick? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't get it on camera, but the girl, which is, this one here is a female, this one's a male. She walked through there and it's like she's, she stomped her feet in the puddle to like clean off her feet. It was kind of funny. Oh, I like your mustache. Looks good on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I better turn off this water. Ducks are having fun in their freshly cleaned pond. <laughs> Act, acting like Daffy Duck. Yeah, as you guys just saw, we uh, just cleaned out their pond. And as you can see, they are all just having a blast. Hey girls. Oh, what's wrong? Your plum tree isn't there for you anymore. Oh no. You come to say hello. Aw, you're a sweet girl. You're a sweet girl. Everyone's gonna check out the baby chicks. Well guys, it is a very hot day here in South Georgia. So I'm gonna wrap up this video for now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and until next time, we'll see you then. Bye, guys.